to reflect the personality of the person to whom you give that basket to. Give her to put a little imagination into it and a little soul. all armed with coffee and I took out my new coffee cups for this I made myself a coffee because it's around 2 in the afternoon and I'm so so sleepy so I need myself I need some fuel because today we're gonna do something that I have not done something that I have not exercised until this moment when I opened the camera and I decided to film it as it is, okay, with goods, with bads, I'm not sure how it's gonna end, but today we're planning to do the gift baskets. So, I'm gonna make two gift baskets, one for a male and one for a female. Uh, it could be for your brother, for your uh, husband, it can be for your mom, for your uh, daughter, doesn't matter. I want to create two baskets that could inspire you to create one if you want to do something a little more different uh, this year for Christmas. Therefore, I have here all the products that I'm planning to put in my gift bags. I'm not even sure if they fit to my gift bags because I'm seeing now that I have some recipients where I want to put my, uh, so the baskets uh, that I want to use to put the things and I don't think it's gonna fit. But we will adapt and uh, we'll see how it goes. There are a couple of things that um, I think, in my opinion, you should avoid when you create such uh, um, baskets. Uh, firstly, I think uh, the basket itself, it should reflect the personality of the person to whom you give that basket to. Uh, it's nonsense to put some of the stuff uh, in a basket knowing that that person will never use it to be useful for uh, that person. Try and get the things before knowing that they are linked to the personality uh, of the person. Uh, I'm, I'm having in my mind here a situation when you can add up some uh, food products and that person could be allergic. So please careful with that try and find out um, if uh, they're matching uh, and, or not. Second thing, in my opinion, you should try and uh, avoid very cheap products or uh, no, don't get me wrong, try and find cheap products. Uh, I have nothing against it, but uh, at least good looking cheap products, not to see that they are cheap. You've seen, there are some products that they look so cheap and they can be expensive or cheap but there are some products that there can be super cheap but they look awesome so try and find the balance here because we want to try to be in a budget but also to create something uh, nice uh, something useful okay so first things first we can start by showing you what products I thought it could go into a basket and then we will arrange them. One more thing I haven't told you, all these products are a combination between new products so from the shop and thrifted products. The thrifted products are still new, it's just uh, they're bought from a thrift store. They're all new, unopened, ready to be gifted. That's another thing, right? You don't wanna, if you know that that person to whom you give the gift doesn't uh, like things from thrift store, stay away, okay? But if you know that that person uh, has nothing to, uh, has no problem with these kinds of uh, products, go ahead. I think it saves you money and uh, we can be a little thoughtful toward our home, our planet. Anyhow, let's start. Uh, I have products from Dollar Tree. I have products from normal shops. I have products from thrift stores. So uh, let's start with the gift baskets, which I really think they're gonna pose a problem for me. I got one gift basket from 
a normal shop yesterday and one gift basket I took it from a thrift store but I realize now that the thrift store one it's a little small so perhaps we're gonna make our basket even smaller or rethink the basket and uh, in which case I'm gonna have a problem let's start with the thrifted uh, basket and then we go to the one from the shop I have this nice thrifted sleigh I imagined I can put my things into it and give it like this uh, the price for it it was four dollars I haven't even taken the price off but I'm gonna handle it uh, after we speak it uh, says Christmas love on it I need to wash it as well but that doesn't um, impose a problem I really think this uh, sleigh it's elegant with this gold with this bird I tell me guys why there's a bird uh, here but anyways uh, and it says in the front Charles Vyofsky Vyofsky anyhow this should be the first basket that I wanted to utilize but looking around at the products that there are i'm not sure if they're gonna fit but we'll see this is one and the second basket that i got from the uh, tj maxx it's a, literally a basket it has this nice tree it's written we wish you a merry christmas so you can actually create these kinds of baskets from a family to another family or again to a man or woman a kid doesn't matter so this basket it's a little bigger and perhaps a little more manly I would say with this uh, um, wood and uh, I think I'm gonna use this for the man one and perhaps this for the woman so these are the baskets mandatory thing when you're creating a Christmas basket gift right the basket and be a little more thoughtful than me and look for something a little bit bigger if you want to create something a little more uh, a little more diverse and uh, with many products now um, let's start with a common product that I want to put in both baskets no matter the sex woman or man and again these products were bought from um, the thrift store there are two candles candles you cannot get you cannot be wrong with candles when it comes to gifts and they look like this this is the first candle and I was thinking to put this one in the men basket because of the car but then mm, I, I think I'm gonna keep it for the men and this it's white it's minimalist with this gold both on the uh, candle and on the package for the woman and what's cool about them is that both of them have a sticker on it saying from whatever to whom to and from and I think it's can be serve you well as a message toward the receiver so two candles they they also smell nice both of them so this for sure they're gonna go in the basket next another common thing that I want to put in both baskets there are two products but I think I showed you these products in an uh, earlier um, vlog there are two chocolates there are these two chocolate spoons I want to put in one uh, one and in uh, another basket the other one together with what I consider being Christmas and that is an orange so chocolate spoon and orange in both baskets 
no matter what who doesn't like a orange and even if you don't like an orange you can do something else with it so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put two oranges together with the um, with the chocolate I have one more common uh, product and uh, two more products two more common products that I want to use and then we're gonna move on to the each individual um, part I showed you this already in another video are these two socks there's a pack of socks two socks from Dollar Tree what I want to do is to take each sock and inside the sock to put candies I have a mix of candies so I have Twix I have M&M's, I have Kit Kat, I have sneakers and I want to take, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what I want to do. I'm gonna take one of the socks and I'm gonna fill it with chocolate. I feel like it's a nice surprise. I haven't looked exactly at what's gonna be put inside, but um, I think this is sufficient. And it's gonna look like this in the um, basket. I'm actually gonna do this for both of them now. Okay, so I have two little socks with candies. What else I have here? For men, I think I've been a little biased when it comes to men versus woman. I got more items for the woman, but then, you know as it is, it's very hard to it's quite difficult for men so I tried to compensate for the men with a very nice bottle of wine and this is a dessert wine if not mistaken um, it's very nice looking you can use whatever you want you can go for a whiskey bottle you can go for a vodka bottle you can go for a wine bottle um, you can go for a champagne bottle but anything that uh, that man could uh, like or enjoy uh, drinking in my case i'm gonna put this bottle of wine i have here one more thing for the woman and I got this from um, Dollar Tree and I felt it's so cute and cheap. Is this cute little globe. It contains two sponges, makeup sponges. What sold it for me was the packaging and I really think it's gonna look cute in the basket. Ah, and one more thing for the men. I thought would be really thoughtful and it can go either way woman man in my case I put it into the man one I got a set of five coffee flavors and this specific one for me it's one it tastes like chocolate so it's a syrup ch chocolate syrup the other one is caramel syrup hazelnut syrup s'mores syrup and vanilla syrup all these four five all these five it can be um, a nice thoughtful way to give to someone to taste and see if they if they like it okay so the final two products uh, that they're gonna end up to the woman uh, basket are one a set of lipsticks 
I think I showed you I showed you this in my last video yesterday so they're gonna go in there together with a very fun holiday leggings they have these gnomes on them with gift I thought it's gonna be a nice addition to the gift basket and these I took them as new from the uh, thrift store and it cost 10 bucks and these are all the products that I thought it would be cute to add up to a basket and provide it to the loved ones now you can add some more you can even change the idea behind a gift basket is give the opportunity for the uh, giver to put a little imagination into it and a little soul and for the receiver to enjoy something that it's known to be uh, thoughtful and um, knowing that the uh, gifter really put a little bit of effort a little bit more than uh, buying a gift card from a shop don't get me wrong that's a great idea as a gift but time to time I think it's good to uh, put an effort as well now what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna try and arrange it in a way uh, to look cute and um, hope it was inspiring for you guys hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna see you to the next one which is tomorrow bye Okay guys, change of plans. Unfortunately, doesn't fit anything I do. What I'm gonna do to try and fix this is uh, to take my cookie um, basket, cookie jar, whatever, and try and put it inside of it. Perhaps it's offering a little more space than, uh, oops, than the other one. So let's do that and uh, let's hope for the best. I made a mess here, but I'm gonna put you back down here. And we're gonna redo it. So 